Good morning, my Capricorns. It is 4 a.m. on a Sunday and I am doing your reading. I am pre-recording this because tomorrow when um, tomorrow I have surgery, I have to be, start surgery from 7.30 and I guess they bumped it from three hours to five hours. Um, so yay me. All right, Capricorns, look at that. I'm using a new deck. I got three new decks over the weekend, two from Amazon, and then I went out with a friend on Friday night and we stopped by the shop. And um, yeah, they, I found this on the shelf. I, I was just, I was immediately pulled to it. I really, really like this deck. It's called Tarot of the Abyss if you're interested. But look at your card there on the front. Look at the devil. And I love spirals. The spirals with energy and I don't know. I love spirals. Okay. Capricorn and look at bottom of the deck we have the Empress and the Emperor what is going on I can't wait to dig into this reading this is for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus if you are a Capricorn no Capricorn feel like being a Capricorn well Capricorn I'm so glad you're here and I know what you're thinking you're like Stacy stop saying Capricorn you're getting on my nerves that's okay Capricorn I'm getting on my no my own nerves see what I did there Capricorn I said Capricorn again people are like I'm tuning out I can't take this chick all right, general energy for the Capricorns. Ha ha, did it again. General energy for you guys. What is the general energy for the Capricorns? General energy for the Capricorns. What is it? What is it? What is it? The Three of Pentacles reverse. Let, it's your card, Capricorn. What are you letting go of? I think it's something you've been holding on very, very tightly. Very tightly. White knuckle tight. Letting it go. What's influencing the Three of Pentacles reverse? What's influencing the Three of Pentacles reverse for Caps? What is it? The Nine of Swords reverse. Probably realizing the shit you've been holding on to you really isn't your shit. People who've been doing this to you really don't need to be in your life. It's it's. I feel like it's actually clarity. And uh, clearing that um, mental energetic attic of yours. What's the reason for the reading? And that's a Gemini, you and Gemini. What's the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, Capricorn? What is it? The Ace of Cups, renewal, strength, healing, new beginnings. <gasps> Ooh, Caps, what is that about? What's in the past? What are you cheeky little devils. Are you, is this a new relationship? What's in the past, Capricorn? The strength card. And I love how she depicts this on this card. She's not trying to put her hand in a lion's mouth. Who would put a hand in a lion's mouth? I mean, you're going to get bit. Don't be crying that you got bit. You don't put your hand. This is like actually not trying to fight against your demons, not trying to fight against what's not working. This is this is embracing it. This is stop fighting and embracing it and becoming one. But the strength is working with the energy rather against it and being strong. And I feel like this is just clarity of being like, I can't work with this. Whatever's causing you pain. If this is a job, if this is a relationship, I think you're whole you've been holding on to something that kept you up all night. Worrying. If this is a like I said, if this is a job, it's just constant worrying. And this is Capricorn being like, I need a new beginning. I gotta let this go. This is just bad for my mental health, bad for my overall energy. What's on your mind? And that's Leo, by the way. What's on your mind, Caps? What's on Capricorn's mind? The Eight of Cups reversed. Look at how they how they drew this, how the woman drew this. Walking away and dumping the cup out as she walks away. I think some of you on your mind, I don't know. I, I'm quite not sure if that is you or someone else. Let me leave that until we clarify. Okay, what is in the near future? What is in the near future? And the Page of Pentacles reverse. This this Eight of Cups reverse and Page of Pentacles reverse kind of feel like the same person. This feels like you. This is getting clarity. This is saying, I feel like honestly, I feel like you probably walked away and got and got like um, felt really great at that time, dumping this out. D that was your cup of. I really feel like holding on to something that wasn't for you, and you just really let it go. And now, I mean, it's just like this abundance of energy and love coming from within. It's just like hope. I feel like such hope. Some of you, this could be about starting a new relationship after a, a fallout of, of one. But 
Page of Pentacles reversed. This actually, and that's your card, this feels like a Page of Pentacles when it's upright, it could be an apology, it could be straw, you know, it could just somebody trying to make amends, somebody who's stuck trying to make this better. Somebody sees that you let go of this rope. You finally let go of the, the rope that bound you to. And you're, I, I feel like, Cap, yeah, really, you're in an Ace of Cups. You're all about a new beginning right now, whatever that is for you. Some of you are in a new relationship or about to be. But this is happiness. This is happiness you may have not felt for quite some time. This is feeling strong. I mean, you were strong and I feel like you walked away. But we have an Eight of Cups reverse and a Page of Pentacles reverse. I can't help to feel like somebody realizes see how he's holding that key do you see it he realizes you were their key to their happiness but they didn't realize it until they walked away and i feel like honestly that is you death reverse then and the empress reverse yeah i feel like this is you not taking them back you're not taking up their offer not accepting their apology all right let's see what this is what is this for capricorn three of Pentacles reversed and the Nine of Swords reversed. I honestly feel a Capricorn, you are doing well or you're about to be doing well. I think whoever you left behind is just hoping you come back. They're hoping that you you didn't ditch that key. Like I said, he's holding a key and they're probably hoping you still have that key so you can come back home to them. What is this Three of Pentacles reversed and the Nine of Swords reversed? Those are, some, those are, that is actually a great combination, especially in this deck. I think you did hold on for a very long time. I think you took a beating in this, this situation, job, relationship, whatever this was for you. And then you're realizing, I can't fight this anymore. I just have to go with it. I, that's what I feel like. It's just emerging. The, the fight, the struggle is over. It's accepting. Okay, what is this Three of Pentacles reversed and the Three of Swords reversed for Capricorn? What is the Three of Pentacles reversed and the Three of Swords reversed for Capricorn? What is that? Three of Pentacles reversed and the Three of Swords reversed. And the Knight of Pentacles starting over, Virgo energy. You're taking this Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. I always see it as an Ace of Pentacles. Look at them, hold on to it. And you're just starting over somewhere else. Some of you, like I said, this is about you being happy in a new relationship but you had to let this go. Some of you, this is about a job and, and maybe starting a new job, starting your own business, but this is long-term thinking, long-term planning, long-term happiness. And this is a lot of patience, a lot of patience, but I do feel like you're starting over somewhere else. It's like, I feel like you had no choice. It's just like you were holding on to something. You were, you were, and you felt like you were the only one holding on to this if this was a relationship. But once you left, did they feel your presence? They felt your absence, put it that way. Once you left, that's when they finally felt your absence. What is this Nine of Pentacles? And the Queen of Wands. I think this is you getting your mojo back. This is you putting yourself back out there. She's holding her Ace of Wands now. And she's on the, like I do feel like some of you, if this is about a job, it's, it's, it's just really realizing your own worth, putting yourself out there, going for a higher position, but could even be starting your own business. Queen of Wands is all about finding their own passion. They're all about, they're just not gonna stop until they find it. And it's the patience, it's, it's getting your mojo back, it's getting you back, it's, it's feeling good again. This is a lot of feeling good again. Because in this black and white existence that you were in, I mean, this, that doesn't feel good. It was holding on to a lot of pain for a long time. And you just let it go, just like that. And I feel like it could have even been sudden. You just let it go. And this person's just like, what? Wait, wait, where, wait, wait, where's Capricorn? Where'd Capricorn go? Okay, what is this Ace of Cups reason for the reading? What's this Ace of Cups for Capricorn reason for the reading? And the Judgment Reverse. I think that's what you're healing. I think you, this has been a cyclical pattern, is not and the High Priestess Reverse. High Priestess Reverse and the Judgment Reverse, those work so well together. I think intuitively you knew what was going on. Intuitively you knew you were holding on to something that was probably already like rotten. It was already breaking away. And with the Judgment Reverse, you just didn't want to accept it. So then the universe kept pushing and pushing, throwing more 
signs and symbolisms your way. A certain song hits, hit, you know, would come on the radio. Certain TV show, something that reminds you, it got you thinking. I don't. I feel like I don't know. With it, I I feel like you could have been ignoring it because I think you knew the truth for a long time. And the Ace of Cups is. I feel like this was so sudden for a Capricorn that just let the past go. And some of you, this could have happened in a long time ago. And it's all about finally just letting that go. Letting go of a relationship that really, really bore through you. And just and allowing yourself to be healed. Allowing yourself for this new beginning. I, I, I would say that's more the minority. Because with this Page of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Cups reverse, this person is still in your energy. They are. I, I really feel like they feel your absence. What is the strength in the past? What's the strength in the past for Capricorn? What is the strength in the past? And the lovers held holding on to this. You're like, but Stacy was my soulmate. It was my soulmate. Also, the lovers is being connected to your higher self. It's also making the choice. And the strength, like I said, I feel like you stopped fighting it. You just accepted it. And you made that choice. And what I think you made was a choice for your own happiness. Some of you that that I do feel like you with this ace of cups is about going towards a new relationship so maybe a queen of wands maybe an aries that you find very very attractive and you're just like i'm gonna give my ace of pentacles to somebody who deserves it because this person clearly didn't deserve it what is this eight of cups reverse on capricorn's mind what is the eight of cups reverse on capricorn's mind eight of cups reverse what is that? Seven of Cups reverse. Seeing clearly. Seeing, I feel like seeing them clearly. Or even seeing clearly what had you stuck in your emotions about a specific situation. What is the Seven of Cups reverse and the Eight of Cups reverse? And the Eight of Wands. I love that. Seeing it clearly and moving on. Really, I, 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 I'm going between seeing a person clearly or seeing a situation clearly. It really could be both. I think you just held on to something. Your intuition was there. You've, you, you intuitively knew they could have been disloyal. They, could, they weren't investing in you the way you deserved it. If this was a job, they just weren't giving it back to you. They probably promised you all kinds of things, and in the end, you just didn't get it, no matter what you did. What's this page of pentacles reverse in the near future for caps? What's this page of pentacles reverse in the near future? Yeah, this is definitely a second energy, wheel of fortune reverse. And it, it's talking about repeating patterns. It's it's this person doesn't want you to go. This person's hoping you didn't ditch their key. That you you haven't forgot about them because they haven't forgot about you. And I really feel like they have really feel like they're hoping you're coming back. And I don't think you are. I think, honestly, I think a lot of these, you caps are already in something new. What is this Page of Pentacles reverse in the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Page of Pentacles reverse in the Wheel of Fortune reverse for Capricorn. And Two of Swords waiting, blocking their heart. There's nobody else I want but my Capricorn. Why did I have to screw that up? Why did I have to screw it up? That's Libra energy. One more on the Page of Pentacles reverse. And the five of swords yeah five of swords you know this is this is funny let me turn this off a second so you can see this see this five that's probably no that's no help either but you see how he's holding that sword this person lied right what he's watching is somebody walking away that i don't think i've ever really seen it that in the card but it really goes with the storyline whoever lied to you that's holding the sword they're they watched you walk away i don't think they thought you were going to walk away caps i really don't and I think there are two of swords black in their heart. They're stuck. They don't, they don't want to move on. It's like they're in this purgatory since you left them. But I, I and I know, I get it, guys. I'm, you're like, well, why am I having this storyline? I'm actually doing good, Stacy. I did not need you to, to, to bring down my day. Because they're holding on to you. I feel like this is you, Ace of Cups. Some of you are in a new relationship. Some of you are about to be. Some of you are just, it's just happiness. It's just well-deserved happiness that's where you are but we have back here somebody holding on to a love connection and they can't let it go they can't let this center the hub of the wheel go what is the hub of the wheel someone who invested like nobody ever invested in them somebody who saw the good in them somebody who 
who was there for them. And it, you had the patience with this person. Maybe with the Queen of Wands too, you probably found them attractive. You, you, th you thought this person could really develop, like, you know, like this was really going to develop into something. And maybe it would have if they were mature enough. But what you ended up getting, I feel, was this Nine of Swords and this Three of Pentacles holding on to a lot of pain because it felt very repetitive. This felt like a very repetitive, um, re you know, cycle of pain, of making up and then pain and then making up. All right, Caps, that is what I have for you. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your week and I'll see you next week, guys. Take care.